Operation Maelstrom. of Greetings from Derbyland, the only online internet web series that knows on every continent there's a country. In every country there's a town, and every town has an Elm Street. I'm the New Jersey Knight. I'm the voice of Virginia, KVD. And we are here to talk to you about the grinning, bearing, nightmaring events that are taking place in our little section of the map of Derbyland, hopefully a larger, broader section of the map of Derbyland, as the season goes on, and what a season it has been. Hmm. This is going to be our mid-season finale. We're going to go away for a little while. We've never done that before. Mm -mm. Not at all this season. Not once. But we're officially going to do it right now because a lot of life is happening. Yes. Good life, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I'm getting ready to actually in a couple days from filming this to leave to go to California for my sister's wedding. That'll be awesome. Uh, we've got prep for Summer Affair, which we've been talking about all season. It's just, good God. Oh, all the things. And the side series that we've been hinting at mm -hmm. is being prepped. and Which I've been getting a lot of. When's it happening? Soon. Mm -hmm. It's a technical term. It's an industry, it's like an inside baseball term of soon. Mm -hmm. Get on them. Say, hey, make it happen. Yeah. In a completely unrelated note, we mentioned in the last episode that it's live now, that you can pre-order not just t-shirts, like we said the last time, but also pre-order for the pint glasses and for the decals uh, these prices are gonna be lower than what we're gonna sell them at normally so if you want to get them get them in by the, the end of July that's when the orders gonna be cut off for those prices it'll be fun like I said completely unrelated to anything else that we're doing it's not like we have to raise money it's not like we do this for free I mean we're millionaires clearly no. but hey if you can help out help out and no. if nothing else you get a really awesome t-shirt that I can't wait to see what the design looks like But before we do any of that, we have one last bout to, to cover before we go off into the sunset, just for a little while. It takes us to just outside of Richmond, Midlothian, Virginia, at Shooters. First time for me at Shooters. Mm -hmm. You've been at Shooters before. Yeah, we went, uh, this is where the interviews that uh, happened uh, last season towards the end. It was uh, RCR's new kind of, not really permanent home, because they're still at uh, Roller Dome, but I love Shooters. It's, it's nice. It's, a fun little it's baby. nice. And then, you know, Climate control too. It wasn't. I wasn't like oh, God, yes. completely sweaty or anything. And we didn't call it. Oh my God! We got to just cover the River City Roller Girls host, Rock Town Rollers. These girls right uh, here. Yep, them. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun too. It was. It was a lot. Actually, no, it didn't go the way we expected. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll put it that way. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and show them some yes. uh, some clips? Do it. Here we go. First jam of the night, and it is, as you can see, country jam. Country right jam number for 42, jamming for RCR. Where we start for Rock Town Rollers is Giggle, 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 the pack's early on, starting to mix it up. Karma gets you some, trying to throw the hip, forcing Country to call that one off. All right, here we have Smack Mamba with the star for Rocktown. And with the lime green star, that would be Cindy Boohoo for River City. The Golden Glider, as she proves it just right there, takes the outside track. So fast. Lee Jammer, one of eight Lee Jams for Cindy Boohoo in this game. 78 points from the unofficial stats that mm -hmm. are rarely official. Hey look, friend of the show, Art Vandalay. What's up, Art? Love that guy. As Jam has been called off there. But hey, look, not only Mama Thora, but there's there's Wayne and J Dog, the, the dog. The pound. dogs, yeah. I love it. And as the cameraman who is clearly, clearly inebriated, 
Mm-hmm. It was me. I was sober. Mm-hmm. Uh, whiskey Ginger up against uh, who? Who is that? Oh, that would be friend of the program, Country Jam. She's playing a little bit of defense against Whiskey there. Proven that the jammer can also be a fifth blocker. It happens. Country's really good at doing it. She forces her out, recycled back by Alpha Betty as Country blows out of this pack. It looks like we got a potential star pass here from Whiskey Ginger. Looks like she's looking for the pivot in Giggle Hurts here. She gets her right as Black Skin Ninja knocks her out. Unfortunate loss of track position there, but I don't blame Whiskey for trying it and trying to push her way through. And Country gets a track cut on the second turn. So now... One of her unfortunate seven penalties. The first time she's ever fouled out. Ever. Ever. How long has she been playing? Forever. Since For- almost the beginning. Actually, I think five, six years. So really? yeah, not very far off from the beginning of Derby. So well, we have, this new version. Right. So we have a Power Jam 4 Giggle Hurts now as the star has been passed to her from Whiskey Ginger. Going to take this opportunity to try to put some points on the board for Rocktown. Oh, good old autofocus. Mm. Freaking out right now. Well, it, it doesn't understand. There's so much action, it can't figure it out. Who do I focus on? I want to focus on everything. Oh, look at Giggle Hurts. And that is impressive with a wall that with Thornado and Black Skin Ninja. Yeah. Country already out, already gone before we even knew the power jam was over. Mama Thor out there with the war cry. Hi, Mama Thor. Ooh, the apex hop, but it's over anyway. And here we have Heroin Bob in her predatory stance. As she does against Giggle, 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 giggle Hurts. One of my favorite names to announce because of the prerequisite five words in the forward. Bob tr- forcing her way into blunt force trauma style past Smackdown. She had five lead jam status with 35 points in this game. Giggle Hurts had two lead jam status, 16 points. I give Smack credit right there. She held Bob for quite some time. Why well, she got MVP blocker? And here we have Barely Lethal for Rockdown Rollers. And for River City, for the last time, tier 50 Shades of Pain. As uh, you'll find out in the uh, later interview with, uh, with Shades, this is her last bout with RCR. She took a job at uh, Charleston. She'll explain to you better than I am right now, a little later on. Sad to see Love uh, fit, Love Shades. She's yeah. become a friend really quickly over the last six months of mm-hmm. the show. And to us personally. Big supporter of the show too. And she does get through against Lee Jammer. That was her one and only Lee Jammer. I think it was her only time jamming. So one for one. Yes. 100% of the time. You can count on her if you put her out at least once. 100% of the time Lee Jammer. Mm-hmm. These are the stats. Ooh, smack. Tearing it up with Shades. Shades gets through, puts the points on the board. Smack tearing it up with pretty much everyone that night. I don't know what she does. Yeah. But a little bit more aggressive than normal. Which is good. Yes. In Derby, that's a great thing. I mean, she went right for the tower that is 50 Shades of Pain. (laughs) Who is taller than me on skates. Yeah. She's almost our height off skates. Yeah. It's weird. I tried standing up straight. She went on her toe stops and just towered. I, I, there's nothing I could do to compete. Oh, grow more. Drink milk. Yes. Is that shade secret? Milk. I didn't see a lot of milk at the after party, but that was not just Harrison. Oh, yes. There we go. Bout footage. Bam. Oh my god. Holy crap. A lot of fun. Yes. So you have RCR on one hand. Mm-hmm. Coming fresh off of a third place uh, win at Lowdown Throwdown. So happy for him. So proud of him. Riding high. <laughs> but the math is here. Rocktown's had some struggles. Mm-hmm. We've seen it. We showed it the two episodes ago. I yes. Think, against Southern Maryland. Clearly, you know, going into this, we're expecting, you know, RCR has to blow them out. Mm-hmm. I heard something along the lines of about 
350, 400 points in order to uh, do anything. Do anything uh, rankings wise without falling. Right. Rocktown is is down a skater, mm-hmm. down an all star, a Virginia all star. So we're kind of thinking this could be possible. They've clearly been doing endurance drills mm-hmm. because they, I mean, when you're fielding seven skaters, you're exhausted. Mm-hmm. You wake up exhausted. Yeah. They didn't show it all the way through to the end. I mean, that last clip we showed was maybe four jams away from the final jam. And Smack and, and Executi and Lethal and everybody are, are still up. They're still hitting. They're still going. They're still gas in the tank. The points, I mean, the the victory, I think, is what we expected, but mm. not the point spread. It was no. way closer. Yeah. I had a little over under there with uh, with Wayne Dog. Yeah, yeah that's staying. Uh, it, it, you don't have a choice. Uh, I, I pegged it actually a, a little higher. Mm-hmm. Uh, he pegged it a little lower, and it kind of split the difference. So go ahead and give us the score. And we got River City 314, Rocktown 69. So 245 point spread. Mm -hmm. I did not do that math off the top of my head. I did that beforehand. There's no way I can do math like that. Um, So yeah, that's that was that's a that's a victory. That you're in a rebuilding year. You're down skaters. You've got more that may or may not be leaving. You've got some that you're trying to train to get in and back. Well, I hear a few they're trying to get in and they have until September Mm. to get those. That's their next uh, their next bout at uh, early September. Cool against the Capital Defenders. Also, they don't care when it comes to scheduling. They will face any and every team they possibly can, which is awesome because that's how you get better. Mm. We've seen that with Bangor. Go watch our friends over at Nerd Derby. You can watch the history of, of the last like year and a half leading up yeah. to Coastal uh, where Bangor just went after teams that were way higher than them, were going to destroy them, and got destroyed and learned and got stronger and built. And that, I guarantee, Rocktown used to be a threat in the state. Rocktown will be a threat. They're going to be again, and it's going to be on the backs of the girls that you saw out there. Mm-hmm. Though that though it's, that's a good team. If I got to go to war with a team with me. That that's a team yeah. I, I could trust. Yeah. So good on them. Yep. We got some stats here. Uh, Country Jam with fourteen lead jam status, one hundred and thirty six points. It's criminal. It is. Cindy Boohoo, like I said, uh, eight uh, lead jam status with seventy eight points. Uh, Heroin Bob, five lead jam status with thirty five points. Storm E. Vixen, our eventual MVP, which mm-hmm. you'll see here in a minute. Four lead jam status, 47 points. And we have Gigglehertz, two lead jam status, 16 points. And Whiskey Ginger, eventual MVP for Rocktown, four lead jam status, 38 points. So, so how, I mean, we're talking metrics here. Four leads, 38 points. She knows how to capitalize. Absolutely. When she gets it. Absolutely. And the other reason we're saying? They're going to be a threat. They know the tools are there. We may not know the lottery numbers for tomorrow night, but we know this. Oh, it's going to happen. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And you're going to get to watch it. And we're going to say, you know, I'm not one to say I told you so, so we're going to yell at them through cupped hands. We told, told you so. so. Yeah. So true. That was a lot of power. Mm. Lots <sighs> of stupid segues. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, segue. No, not that segue. No, that segue. Those, those are really dumb. I, I say it because I've never been on one, and I kind of. You really want to? Don't just you? once. I really don't. It would just be. I just I, don't. It's so stupid. I just don't. I've seen overweight cops in the I airport know. using those, and I just now. I have. I have so. I have too much self respect to do it, but I really want to. Don't. I'm going to. At some point before I die, I'm getting on a segue. Of course, and, and we'll film it. The little self respect that he has. I'm going to sell it <laughs> out is immediately, gone. <laughs> immediately if I get the opportunity to get on the segue, and I'll film it. And you'll see me fall. Of course, gotta see, gotta, it's got to be on tape. <laughs> on Derbyland. Uh, but we're talking all season long, every single episode, without a single one missed. About my sponsor for my wardrobe, Ripped Apparel. Shirts like this you can get. They're 24 hours. Some of them, as I showed in the last episode, are, are special ones that they'll run for a week. They're a little bit more expensive. They're also a little higher quality. Also, um, ones you can see, they have an, an eBay store mm-hmm. which it can go which they'll just throw a bunch on there but they're really pricey right. so 
this is the way to get them. Yeah, troll their site daily. Use the promo code GFDerbyland. Get 15% off at checkout. It's not just shirts. It's also tote bags. It's also the little things you put your coasters. That's it. Ah, it's also journals. Really, I got that one and missed coasters. And it's all the things. You can even get baby onesies now. You can get hoodies. Not that this is the right season for them, but stock up. GF Derbyland, 15% off at checkout. Do it. And do it right now. Well, Jericho. Oh, Jericho. All right. All right. So, speaking of Jericho, he likes to do interviews. He does. Mm. I like to do interviews. That's convenient. Yes. Do we have any? I think so. You want me to go do it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Normally not an MVP, but we had to because this is 50 Shades of Pain last game here in the state of Virginia. Well, you never know, you might come back. And I might play. Come back. Yeah, so you're gonna, she's moving to Charleston, everybody. Are you, do you have a team there all ready to go? Uh, I do actually, uh, and it was kind of funny because we beat Low Country at Lowdown Throwdown. And that's the one? Yeah, and um, at that point I had just submitted the job application for the job, so <laughs> I was like, hey, you may be seeing more of me, yeah. but so, in, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Tell the folks at home, uh, what will you be doing there in Charleston? Uh, I'm an athletic trainer, so I'll be working in a sports medicine clinic down there as a physician extender. So bringing in the patients, taking their vitals, doing the initial eval. Normal hours. Normal Very hours? Fun. Like with weekends off and stuff? Weekends off. What? Yeah, more derby. Yeah, more derby on the weekends and stuff? All the time. All the time. All the derby. Um, I know it's your next path in life, but we're going to definitely miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I will miss you guys too. Miss everybody, greetings from, greetings from Derbyland. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got it. I got it. She's my she's my barometer. Like she she makes me stand up, want to stand, have to stand up straight because yes. look at this. She's taller than me. I'm gonna miss everybody. Greetings from Derbyland, New Jersey Night KVD. Everybody from River City Roller Girls for giving me a home for the last year. Thank you so much. Bye. This is Storm E Vixen, your MVP jammer for River City Roller Girls. How are you doing today? I'm like in shock right now. Really? You didn't yeah. think you were going to get it? No, this is like my first game like jamming. I've got thrown like, in. Like in, in the rotation. Like being jam. in the rotation. Yeah. Yeah. I remember last time you were you, know, you were there towards the end of the game. Yeah. But, you know, this is it. You're in. It? You're in. You're, 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 in the, you're in the sorority. You know, yes, you're in. Okay. It's Since it's your first time on Greetings from Derby Land, give us the secret origin of your derby name and number. Um, so I'm a huge uh, comics fan. I'm a yes. nerd, so Storm, X-Men. Um, obviously E, my first name is Emily. And uh, Vixen was also another uh, superhero. Yeah, I'm <laughs> right, right. So she's got Marvel, she's got DC. Yes. No, she, she, she takes, okay. This is my new favorite person on the face of the earth. Okay, take you back to the, to the uh, uh, game. What were some things that you did uh, better, more effectively this time than other times to make you more effective jammer? Um, awareness was a big thing. Um, I know our, our walls were amazing, so just our walls being able to hold mm -hmm. back um, the opponent's jammer uh, really helped me, give me some time to get through. Mm -hmm. um, not pushing so much for kind of being juicy. Their walls were pretty tight, so having to find a hole and just run through it. Yeah. All right. Like to end on a fun one. Uh, you said your IT, but screw that. You said comics, so yeah. we're going. We're going comics, okay? Give us your favorite DC and your favorite Marvel, not Storm or Vixen. Like, you know, like pick another DC and another Marvel. Um. So DC, you know, Wonder Woman is, is huge, obviously. Obviously. Um, Marvel. I am. I mean, I'm huge on X Men. Obviously, Storm. Mm -hmm. Um. Gosh, there's so many. Um. So I'll go with Storm's husband. Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> yes, got represented. Both got represented in uh, on screen. Yes. This, uh, oh my gosh! Uh, I loved it. it. I yeah. Was yeah. Like... So did I. Yeah. Had a good time. <laughs> was awesome. MVP Jammer for River City Roller Girls, Storm E Vixen, first of many in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. This is not a repeat. Uh, do not adjust your sets. This is a brand new episode. Even though. Tornado, MVP blocker for River City Roller Girls. How are you doing? I'm grand. How are you? How's the, uh, I saw you were getting wrapped up when I got here. You're getting all wrapped up, mummified. How, how's everything going? My shoulder, it's a little clavicle. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts? Yeah. How's it feeling now? It's going? Uh, I can't feel it right now, so. I, oh, I don't sorry. know if that's good or bad. Poke, poke, you poke, probably poke. could. And I don't want to. That would be bad. Because that would be, hit you. That would be my, la that, my luck would be like, I did feel that punch <laughs> in my face. So I don't want that to happen at all. Uh, what, what did you do uh, differently, more, more effectively this time than all other times to make you a better blocker today? Communication. Mm -hmm. Definitely communication, making sure 
that um, my fellow teammates knew where I was and I knew where they were and that we were all together. It's kind of hard for them not to because you're like, hey! I, I'm a teacher. I have to be loud. Got to be loud. <laughs> Got to be loud in those classrooms. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I don't even have a funny <laughs> one because we've just done it so many times. We'll probably see her next one and the one after that and the one after that because she's just... She's a force of nature. Thornado, MVP blocker, River City Roller Girls. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> New face to greetings from Derbyland. MVP jammer for Rocktown Rollers and a photo bomb from Ruby Wattweiler. <laughs> this is Whiskey Jensen. How are you doing today? I am just fine and dandy. <laughs> and, and tired. <laughs> and tired. Yeah, you jammed a lot. Uh, you were definitely the point leader um, from your team. Uh, since it's your first time on Greetings to Derbyland, secret origin of your derby name and number. Um, well, pretty simple. Like, I love whiskey, and I'm a ginger, so my signature drink and name is Whiskey Ginger. Mm -hmm. um, my number is not Michael Jordan um, based. It was goes between the numbers of FNA, who used to play with us. She mm -hmm. was negative one. And my good friend, he also used to play with, he was 456, so I was 2 3 to go in the middle of them. Okay. And so that's how. Oh, I got it. You're, you're, like, you're like a whiskey sandwich, right? Yes, a whiskey sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, Rocktown is down to seven uh, players, so it means you have to jam a lot. Uh, what are some things that you do when you're not on practice to get yourself more uh, cardio and more endurance? When I'm not doing derby practice? Yeah. Um, well, I teach, so I'm running around a lot and doing a lot of that. Um, otherwise, I, you know, sometimes I do like some yoga to kind of keep my you know, heart up and try to keep cool when it's really, really hot. Um, I run a little bit. Other than that, you know, just a lot of endurance practice at practice, and we do so much endurance. I, I would so. assume like a lot of uh, a lot of cardio and endurance because you're down to, to yeah. To, to, but you know, just for now, just rebuild. More, right? more. We're gonna see a lot from Whiskey Ginger here. We'd like to end on a fun one here. Um, what are you doing this uh, summer? Any uh, summer plans? Any fun summer plans coming um, up? I'll be going to Georgia okay. and visiting my uncle. Just kind of chilling out and relaxing and not teaching. Not so teaching and, that's the big and sweating because yes. Georgia. Georgia, okay. summer. So much sunscreen. Uh, Applying a lot of sunscreen. Yeah, I don't even. Do you even step out in the sun during uh, the summer? You know, long sleeves, things like that. And another photo of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Executed, remember her from last time uh, when we were at Rocktown. Uh, NVP Jammer for Rocktown Rollers, Whiskey Ginger. Thank you so much. Thanks. NVP Blocker for Familiar Face, Greetings from Derbyland, for Rocktown Rollers, <laughs> Smack. Mamba, <laughs> not slam, Mamba. Some Mac. Come on, Billy, get on it. You have the you have the name in front. Like I have no room to, to say anything because I didn't even introduce her the first time, and I still feel bad. <laughs> Me and Slam just morphed into. Oh no, no, really no! I have player. like yeah, yeah, just morphed over into just a really funny <laughs> joke. Um, I just talked to uh, your teammate Whiskey. Um, what do you do on the uh, when you're not practicing? Because you're down to about seven uh, skaters now. What do you do to keep your cardio and endurance up when you're not in practice? So I actually run the Chicks and Bowls Virginia page and work at a skate park. So I am on skates pretty much every day of the week. Um, I'm actually skating on an injured knee right now from being at work. So, but I'm constantly on skates and working at a skate park definitely builds up a lot of cardio. I like come out like sweat dripping down my face and stuff. If you uh, you need to repost a video, you were skating in the mall and you were on tile and you said it sounded like the Predator. And it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, like, you know, you say LOL, you know, but you take for granted. I actually LOL'd at my job. Like, so I was like, ah! Like, that's how funny it was. Uh, what do you do? What do you have any uh, fun summer plans, you know, during the summer? Um, I'm actually planning on going to the Team USA tryouts with Thor and Country Jam. Yes. And then after that, I will be hitting up all the skate parks that I can possibly go to, which means hopefully not re-injuring myself. But um, I absolutely love traveling. I recently went to FDR for their 20th anniversary in Pennsylvania okay. and had a huge skateboarding, roller skating party. It was great. So, so just uh, if you just yeah. stay on just skates. Just stay on skates. Stay yeah. on skates the whole time. MVP blocker for Rocktown Rollers, Smack Mamba. Thank you. Night and never sleep again. Yeah, that's possibly true. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to watch those movies. Sure you do. They're awesome, except two. Don't see two. Yeah, no. No, definitely don't. No, watch one, three, on. Unlike Star Wars, where you watch 
the second half of two, and then on. A really cool section of of uh, episode one. Pod race? No, no lightsaber. True, Duel of Fates. No. The actual race itself was okay. It's <laughs> the fact that it took a movie and a half to get there in one movie, and then it took an entire movie's length for the actual. No, don't, don't do, it. don't do it, kids. Go see Rogue One later. You know, in fact, yeah, just throw out the prequels, watch select clips, then watch uh, Rogue One, but also watch Rebels and uh, Clone, Clone Wars because yeah. the guys that do that understand what that trilogy should have been. <laughs> It has Lucas. nothing to do with Greens and Derby. It really Other doesn't. It's just a rant. <laughs> it's Star Wars and Star Wars' is life. Yes. Anyway. News. News. Um, Can you believe this is the last time he's going to say what's on this sheet of paper? Yes. Um, and since it's really nice stuff, is this really our last episode before? If it's not, it's one of the last. It's seriously, God, wow, this is really coming up soon. Um... So card subject to change we might pick up about to go cover but I don't think we have one no we got yeah there's a film festival thing coming up that we may be doing mm-hmm. right? maybe looking for another short film from us uh, hey. uh, I'm just saying uh, but before I get to this we're going to do one more little small thing I was reading today of uh, not so happy news but not as destructive as some of the other stuff we've talked about but kind of destructive in a different way Sarah Kelly Carbon Kelly mm-hmm. On the banner over there that you can't see, yes, uh, but if you come to our shows, you will. You will see her. Um, her brother, his house, yes, burned down. Mm. Uh, thankfully, it happened when nobody was really home. Uh, I think one person, like a roommate, was home, and it was during the day, and everybody was awake, and they were able to get out. Unfortunately, cat did not make mm. it, which blows mm. massively, but. It could have been worse. It could have been in the middle of the night. Everybody could have been asleep. And according to the fire marshal, if the, a fire like this had happened when people were asleep, the chances are slim that anybody would have gotten out. Okay. So that's why I say not as bad because we're not dealing with a ton of death and, and maiming. It just blows because it's personal property that's right. gone. Right. Everybody's good. Everybody's safe. But uh, there's a GoFundMe who we'll put in the uh, show notes. Uh, it's help Carbon Kelly's brother out if you can. Um, even if you can't do cash, I mean, with any of these other ones, if you can't do cash, it's cool. These people still need help with those Just share things. Share it out. You know, share it out. Hit them up and say, hey, how you doing? What can I do for you? Because mm-hmm. sometimes physical acts go further than money. Believe it or not, money isn't everything, kids. So I just used your line. I don't know. Kids, it's weird. I still look for someone else, so it's okay. Yeah, it's true. The guy who kind of wears it. Yeah, kind of wears these jerseys. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. So let's talk about happy things. My notes. That have things. Oh, what is this? Oh, nice. Uh, so, Summer Affair coming up August 12th through the 14th. We've got this hosted by Cleveland Guardians. Champ Unkind is going to be the head announcer. We know some of the other announcers, and I did not get their names beforehand, so I'm not going to list them all off, but I do happen to know that Spock will be there. Yay! And we love Spock. Um, we also have London Mullings, the one running it on the Guardian side. He's awesome he's been rolling out the red carpet for us because uh, we're definitely going and covering a lot of things but we have quadzilla smacktivist tink just wing it booty quake v diva snot rocket science next level skate shop antic and greetings from derbyland and roller derby athletics.com we're all going to be there we're going to mm. be doing a panel we're going to be doing interviews with all of these skaters that you saw pretty much for scheduling a, a lotting um and all the things it's going to be a ton of fun so uh, much so stuff we're gonna Instagram the hell out of it. Yep. We're going to Facebook the hell out of it. That's right. Maybe even a little bit of We Are Here Live that I see everyone on Earth doing now. Like, I don't want to see you driving. Do something cool if you're going to do something live. Totally happening. Uh, like we said before, Mosh Pit Mama's joining the team for that to handle the social side. We've got Pez, who's going to be doing all the camera work. Maybe a podcast or two. Huh? Throwing it out to you, Pez, who's editing this episode and learning about this for the first time right now while editing. That's what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've been looking forward to this all year. This will be the third tournament for me, second one for you, third for the show as a whole. Like, just it's a year of tournaments, and yes. they're so addictive. Even though these are challenge bouts, so these are uh, not really a tournament. It's just going to be a bunch of challenge bouts and clinics. It's kind of fun. Yeah, like a whole just weekend of derby. It's going to kind of be fun. I do know that the second night there is an after party <gasps> that involves skates and alcohol. Yes. 
Uh, it should be fun. Yes. I've heard legend of this from last year. Mm. So I can't wait. Hopefully I'll have skates around that time. Hopefully you have skates like tomorrow. Get on it. And gear. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Oh, the gear's coming. All right. Hashtag demon saves. Hashtag spoilers. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a lot of fun stuff coming up. That's Summer Affair. Um, Last time we say that, kids, because I think next time, the next time you hear that, we're going to be doing it. Yeah, maybe I should just open up with, all right, don't check in when we're doing this. Oh, wait, we're here. Oh, we're here. Why um, are we here? Oh, oh, talked yeah. about it every freaking oh. week pretty much for months. We did. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to see these interviews, of course, spread out over the couple months. It'll be a lot of fun. If you're there live, make sure to look for us. Mm -hmm. We want to meet you. Right. We I'll, love fans. I'll be the bald, goopy one with some sort of jersey on. <laughs> and I hear it can get really hot in there during the summer. Oh, so I'm wearing a hockey jersey. Basketball jerseys. I have, bas <laughs> I have my basketball jerseys and my some football jerseys. I'm good. I will be in ripped apparel gear. Shocker. RippedApparel.com. GF Everland. Best pop culture piece. Mm. Makes up for episode seven. Not that I needed to. Um, I don't have anything else. That I'm was, good. It's, I'm good. We're, we're coming to the culmination gosh. of mid-season finale. Usually something big happens in the mid-season finale. And it is big. Yes. We're taking a break. Yes. Well needed break. And like Arrow, we're gonna come back with a bigger episode. Well, not this season. But hopefully the rest of our season doesn't peter out like that one did. Yeah, like the and... Watch Watch go watch the Flash, okay? Yeah. And Legends. And Legends, yeah. But don't forget to do all the social media things. We'd love to hear from you. We love it when you share us out, when you subscribe. Also check out Operation Maelstrom for all the other shorts and things that we're doing as a team. But you've seen the sign on the side of the road that says you're exiting Derbyland. I'm KVD. New Jersey night. Good night and thank you.